to you. Hello, I'm back from my holiday and have been playing the hell out of the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, having an absolutely great time. I do have a stinking cold, which is why I probably sound a little bit weird, but I thought I'd make a couple of quick videos on how to do achievements. And this was one where I thought I found a pretty good way to do this mission. So this is the Ghost in Training achievement in Modern Warfare 2. So the challenge for this achievement is to go into the El Sin Nombre mission and you need to get up to the penthouse without being spotted, so without raising the alarm and also without killing anyone. Obviously, normally when you play this mission, you'd probably start killing guards up at the top or even killing Diego to get his keycard. But you need to find a way to do it without killing anybody and without anyone seeing you. In this video, I'm playing it on Recruit. I don't think it really matters because you're not going to get seen, so you're not going to get shot, so it shouldn't matter too much at all. To get to the bit where you can start exploring, obviously you have to play through the first part of the mission where you have this interview. I'm sure you've already done this in the campaign, but if you haven't, you just have to tell the truth every time you get an option. Before long, you're made free so you can explore the mansion. Now, it's really important to remember that you can always go back to last checkpoint whenever you want from the start menu, and you want to do that as soon as you think you've been seen because what you don't want to happen is for you to get hit a checkpoint where you're just about to be seen or you've just been seen and then you'll have to restart the whole mission from scratch and go through that whole interview thing again so you don't want that to happen so just make sure you liberally use the resume last checkpoint now your first objective when you're wandering down the bomb here you can kind of just wander about the guards don't take any notice of you because they think you're one of them the first thing you want to do is to try and find a few bottles because bottles are really useful for using as a distraction you can kind of control where guards go i tried hopping on a little heater just to see if i could climb onto the roof from there but you absolutely can't so yeah if you go in there's like a bar area and then you can grab all of the bottles you need just fill your inventory up with them because you're going to need more than one so here you can see there's like the kitchen counter just grab two bottles that's all you can grab now you can't go up there because there's those uh, guards on the top of the stairs there's one there and there's another one at the top but what you can do is go around to the back of the garage here and then you can just hop up onto the garage roof for some reason that guard doesn't notice you at all now on this little walkway on the right up here which is where you want to be going there's a guard there and as soon as on the compass you can see that little yellow glow around the compass that means that guard is starting to spot you so you want to hide immediately now i kept on peeking out a little bit just to see if he was still there and i was kind of a little bit confused because i couldn't hear any footsteps or anything like that but even though he kind of saw me a little bit he just moved on at some point so i just waited until i'm pretty sure he's gone jumping out and then you can just climb straight over along the walkway and you can climb up this trellis at the end to get you onto the roof so now you've just skipped basically everything that's in the mansion now the roof is a little bit trickier and here i did have to use a few restarts basically the goal in this area is to get to the opposite corner where that little tower is without any of the guards on the roof seeing you and there's quite a lot of guards up here and they all kind of patrol a little haphazardly so i found it quite hard to just sneak past them instead i was using bottles to kind of draw their attention on this first attempt i think i threw the bottles a little bit too far i think i probably threw it off the roof i had a go at throwing another one but they'd seen me by then because there's like guards all over the place as soon as it said the enemy's here i was straight back to last checkpoint to try again so you can see there's one enemy in the far corner there's one enemy that's quite close to me where i am here it's just on the other side of that little wall and then there's one just over where you need to go so you can see that guard moving towards me and then there's one right on that other side and then i threw that bottle but that guard on the right there he's really the problem he wasn't that bothered by that bottle so i had to go at throwing another one now you can walk along this little railing and then hop up but i went a little bit too close to the guard then so when i came over here and i didn't realize that you can open this door at this point that other guard had seen me by then as soon as he said oh and then swears that's when i knew i had to restart again because i don't want to get a checkpoint when he's seen me so i pretty much locked down the method here so you can creep just around the very edge of it throw a bottle kind of into the middle of it and this time you can see that was perfectly placed because that guy actually moved away which made this much easier then you can just hop up and then you don't need to go to the door at all you can just run up to the ladder then basically once you've climbed up this ladder you're done like this is everything solved alejandro has somehow come up a different way and then you just need to drop down into the lift 
And then when you get on top of the lift, you have to be a bit careful here. So you press down and then almost immediately press brake. You can like aim at the different buttons. So press brake and then you can open the emergency lock on the door. Just go prone and climb through. And then once you're in this corridor, the achievement should pop at the top, Ghost in Training. And once the achievements have popped, you can just back out of the game. So if this helped, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.